Today we're making a rustic style hat wreath. Keep watching. We're going to start off with one of these plain little raw summer hats. You can get these at Dollar General when they go on clearance at the end of summer. But you can get them at other stores as well or you could thrift a hat. I'm going to start off by gently removing the hat band that's there. It's braided and it's pretty so I think we'll keep that and we'll use that later. Okay, so then you want to choose your ribbon because we're going to make a hat band. So I thought this pretty fall ribbon from Dollar Tree would be good. I'm going to use this and I'm going to layer it with green. And here I am just putting a little bit of glue on here to layer these two pieces together. I just trimmed the wire edge off of the, the truck one so that it would be a little bit smaller. Then I'm just going to fit it around from the front to the back and I'm going to glue it in a crisscross sort of in the back. You have to gently put this thing together so you don't burn yourself, but you want to kind of put a little glue on and then cup the ribbon down. Add a little more and cup it down. If you need to trim pieces of it, just like a little snip so it'll lay flat, you can do that too. I don't have any footage of that, but I did it in two or three curves, I think. So we're just going to lay that over and then I'm going to trim off the little longer piece of green there into a dovetail. All right, then I'm going to take these thrifted picks that I got from Goodwill and they coordinate pretty nicely with the colors that I have on the hat band there. So I'm just going to trim these off. I'll pull them off the stem and then trim them off of the little pieces that stick them together. This is a piece of cording, I guess, from Dollar Tree. Just wanted to add that on there. But you really can't see it after I get all the leaves on. And you're just going to take those leaves and kind of alternate your dark with your light colors. It makes each different color stand out better if you do it that way. Or you can make ombre or whatever you want to do. Whatever is good for you. So you'll see I kind of pick them up, move them around and decide what goes where the best. Really doesn't matter. It's rustic. Whatever you want to do. So I'm not going to glue it completely down everywhere because I want the leaves to have still a little bit of a little bit of bend and flexibility so they look like, you know, leaves that fall off the trees. So a little glue on the leaf before it and a little glue on the hat to hold it down. Just going to keep going until we have completed the circle there with our leaves on it. All right now I'm just going back in and adding a few little extra pieces that I had where I felt like I needed a little change of color in my pattern just added a few pieces and then these little sprigs also came from Dollar Tree pulled them off of a bigger pick and just bent them around and then glued them down okay so I'm going to take this strip of thrifted burlap fold it over on itself and then I am going to I want to make a bow with it so I'm going to fold it over about an inch onto itself and then gather it up with my fingers just like that and that's going to be the base of our bow and I'm going to use a zip tie to put around there and hold it in place we'll make the tails next That's what the little bow looks like and we're going to trim off the excess and now the tails I'm just going to have a longer piece of a thinner one of a thinner strip of burlap and I just used a piece of wire twisted around that and then uh, glued it to the back of that bow. So now I'm just trying to decide what kind of a bow I want to make on the back to go under there and I think I'm going to do I think it's called a funky bow 
It's very easy to make, although you will not be able to see me make it in this video. So I'm gonna cut two strips that are the same length. I'm going to go fold it completely in half and then go down about three inches, gather that up, and then hold it between in my hand between my thumb and my finger there. Then I'm gonna do exactly the same thing on the other, bunch it up, and then tuck it right next to the other one. So the ears are up and the tails are down. I went ahead and used a zip tie to wrap around the middle of those and you can see clearly now what I did. And I'm going to dovetail the ends, which is cutting them in a triangle upward, outside in, upward. And then that will give me two loops and four tails. With this type of bow, you don't necessarily use the tails to hang down under it. You put the tails in the bow. It's part of the decoration, it's part of the bow. So you'll see kind of what I mean, I think, in just a minute. Just really trying to get an idea. But now you can see how I fluffed it out, two on the bottom and two are on the top sides where the bow is. So it's only two loops. And I wanted that because it's a little bit flatter and it will accommodate this other bow on top of it a little bit better. So just hot glue that bow to the center of the other bow. Alright, after you've given that a minute to glue, you can just go ahead and Cut those ends there also and dovetail. And then you can fluff it out how you like it. I decided I want to put a pumpkin in the center of this bow, so I'm going to seed it on some leaves. Since the burlap is a light color, I use the darker leaf underneath and then a green leaf on top. Then I'm going to take that pumpkin with a good bit of glue and stick it down and then I just tucked two of the smaller leaves under the edge there. So remember that hat band? We're going to use it as a hanger. So I'm just moving it to the top, although you're seeing it upside down, and I'm going to glue that on. And I've decided to use this Dollar Tree burlap wreath, um, <laughs> leaf to go on the top in the center of the hat. And that is it. That's all she wrote. So we have a combination of Dollar Tree and thrifted items in this video. A little pumpkin is also thrifted. It came off of a another project that I've already done and you should be seeing soon and I think it's pretty you could almost say this is boho rustic because it's on the hat so there's the hanger what do you think is this something that you would try does it match the style in your house what style do you like comment below Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video, and I hope that you subscribe for more content just as wonderful as this piece. Thanks again for watching, and I'll be back soon. Bye.